In this movie I'm going to take a quick look at the marquee tool and how it can be used in ARCHICAD. Several different ways but the first way that we tend to use it is as a selection tool. In this case here I've got lots of separate windows dotted about all over the building but I may only want to select some of them. Using the arrow tool to select windows is a bit of a pain because we don't have a window selection method so I'd have to go along, hold down the shift key and make multiple selections. So what I can do is use the marquee tool to simply highlight an area like so, then select the window tool and then do Control A if I'm on a PC or Apple A if I'm on a Mac and that will select all windows inside the marquee. To help with the selection we can actually change the shape of the marquee, we can go across here and go to the second button in the info box and it can actually change to a completely different shape so I'm able to go around, carefully pick out part of the selection, drop back to the beginning and then again select window tool, Control A or Apple A and that selects all the windows inside the marquee. Hit an escape a few times will deselect elements, cancel the current command and get rid of the marquee. The next thing we can do with it is the drag command and that's simply use the marquee, put it back to a regular rectangle. I haven't actually selected any of these columns but you can see they're out by one grid space which is two meters. So with the marquee highlighting all these points all I have to do is move the mouse inside I'll get a little trident symbol which means I'm inside a marquee and that's quite useful because if you're zoomed in the tight area you may not see the marquee boundary. But what I'm going to do is just move the mouse into the middle of one of these points to get a tick mark. I don't actually have to do any commands, I just start, point the mouse, cross to the left, type in 2000, press enter and that effectively moves, drags everything inside that marquee. The next thing we can do with the marquee is the stretch command. And all I'm going to do for this again is just grab the marquee, highlight an area and basically anything that crosses the marquee boundary is going to be stretched, anything inside is going to stay intact and simply drag. So I can take this and type in the distance. You can see this has moved this end wall and stretched these other walls to the new length. You can do that in any area, go back to this wall, pick this up and all I have to do is move the mouse inside to make sure I get a tick don't actually have to invoke any commands, just pick this point and move and stretch by, in this case, 1500mm. Another example of this is the roof plan. We can stretch again, maybe pick this point, select here, pick a point and stretch this 3000. And then maybe what I want to do up here is stretch this whole end section upwards by 1500 one thing we have to be very careful of is having done all this, and this is another feature of the marquee tool, is to select thick marquee, select all of the building, make sure it's inside, and if I press F4 if it was on a Mac or F5 on a PC, I can have a look at what damage I've done to the building. Because as you can see, the ground floor has been stretched a couple of different places, the upper floor has been stretched with the roof in completely different places. And although these elements here are the same distance, I'm going to have some work to do to repair the damage that I've just done by carelessly dragging. So what I'm going to do is drop back to 2D, undo a few times, so this puts the building back into its original shape. And what I'll do this time is stretch using the marquee, but this time use the thick selection, which means if I grab this whole area, pick here and move this 3 metres, go up to the roof space so I can actually see the boundary of the the roof itself, take this whole area and stretch this by 2 metres in this case. This time when I zoom out, make sure the whole area is inside the marquee, when I look at 3D, you can see the buildings now intact and all the floors line up exactly the way they should be. In this next example file we've got a very large site and I want to highlight just one particular area of it and use it for visualisation purposes, which is another main use for the marquee tool. You can see the marquee is flashing away down here. What I actually have is obviously the ability to draw rectangular marquees. We can change the shape so that we can do custom shapes. And we can even change to angled rectangles if I want to line up parallel to one of these buildings across here. We can take the mouse across and carefully line that up. However, in this case, I want a custom shape marquee, so what I'm going to do for this is use this polyline that I've already drawn to define the shape around the building. So all I do is magic wand with the marquee tool active and click 
on the boundary of that polygon. I'll now just press F5, again F4 if it was a Mac, and rather than this time the whole building or the whole site be presented, it's going to chop the building down to the new marqueed area. Spin round to the other side, you can see the shapes that are created based on the polygon that was originally drawn. And this allows us to create fairly complex shapes for presentation purposes. There's a couple of final points to mention. First one is inside the view menu, under elements in 3D view, we have something called filter elements in 3D. And in here we can actually change the marquee effect from rather than cutting out a shape and showing what's inside the marquee, we can change this so the inside of the marquee is actually hidden and we're left with a hole in the middle of the site as it were. We can also in here choose to turn on and off doors or windows if we want to simplify the model for presentation purposes. And the final thing we'll look at is also in the view menu, also under elements in 3D view, but this time it's 3D cutting planes. In the 3D cutting planes we're presented with a front, side and top view of the model, and we can actually just choose to section off part of the model so it isn't displayed in 3D, and we can also change the colour that's used to paint the objects that are cut by the marquee and the cutting planes. So maybe this time we'll change this to paint 5. Alternatively we can use elements own attributes. You'll see the model's now been rebuilt with the top sliced off and the colour changed to black rather than red.